Le plaisir de vous saluer une nouvelle fois, de vous accueillir une toute nouvelle fois ici au bowling La Sphère. Nous sommes à Fontaine-le-Comte, à quelques kilomètres de Poitiers. Un décor de rêve avec un casting extrêmement sélect et une rencontre palpitante aujourd'hui. On va s'atteler tout simplement au troisième tour de la Master Series, de la Promotion Tour également. 13e édition, on regarde dans mon sillage les joueuses qui sont prêtes à en découdre. Lindsay Boomershine qui est là depuis le premier tour, qui a gagné son premier match face à Clara Guerrero, la Colombienne. Elle a battu le Colombien Jaime Gonzalez et elle se retrouve face à face avec une légende vivante de la discipline, Liz Johnson, the GOAT, ça veut dire the greatest of all time, la meilleure de tous les temps, 25 titres PBA en carrière, elle a également gagné tout ce qu'il y a à gagner partout sur la planète bowling, Liz Johnson, Lindsay Bomershine, un match de rêve et on n'en est qu'au troisième tour. Thank you, Mark Chauvet, for that introduction to the third round of the 2023 Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Tour Master Series. In round one, Lindsay Boomershine defeated Clara Guerrero 228-216, then went on to defeat Jaime Gonzalez of Colombia 198-161, earning her the right to face number seven seed Liz Johnson. And here is Liz starting things off on the left lane described as the greatest of all time or goat by Mark Chauvet and why not we'll talk about her resume in a minute here but let's watch Liz throw her first shot on the left lane and she does throw it right up the 10 board for a mixer strike and good start there by Liz Johnson she's shaking her head a little bit and I think the reason is you can see the ball go pretty much through the break point very light in the pocket not making much of a turn through the pins I think she'll try to make that adjustment going forward to get a little bit better angle through the pocket but a mixer strike is a mixer strike so take it and here is Lindsay on the right lane with a perfect flush strike going out over the 12 board and turning up through the pocket perfectly and watch this replay splits the second and third arrows and good release and perfect shot there by Lindsay. Lindsay's been plagued by light hits and 10 pins on this gateway arch 42 foot oil pattern. And let's see how she's able to adjust. And we'll see what kind of pace Liz Johnson sets for her. Jaime Gonzalez struggled on this pair, as did Lindsay. Lindsay shooting 190 scratch. And with her eight pins handicap, defeated Gonzalez 198 to 161. Let's see how she does here on the left lane. And gets through it pretty well, but gets it into the oil. And it goes down the lane, does not make the corner. That is a night road she's throwing, not a, not a super aggressive cover. And in this case, does not make the corner up to the pocket, leaving the 2-5-8 combination for the spare. Lindsay, of course, captured her first PWBA title this year in May. It was the USBC Queens, and what a fantastic win. Congratulations to Lindsay breaking through to the winner's circle on the PWBA Tour. And here she comes over, a little bit light hit for the spare and does convert, so good cover there, and stays clean through two. And let's see what, if any, adjustment Liz makes. Compare uh, Lindsay's first title to Liz's 25 PWBA titles, including 10 majors. She's a three-time PWBA Player of the Year in 2015 through 2017 and has also won on the men's tour. She won the Cheetah Championship. And there's maybe a board inside of the last one, round 11, and gets the mixer strike again for a double. So. Liz off to a perfect start here in our third round. And again, we're bringing you nine stepladder matches as part of this master series, qualifying led by Dennis Grunheit of Germany. We've got a who's who of stars coming up. Matt McNeil is in the is in the stepladder. Jack Blythe, Daniel McEwen qualified second. The winner of this match earns the right to face Manuel Otalora from Colombia. And that will be our next match. Meanwhile, Liz gets up and flushes her next shot. And now she's perfect through three. So that's the adjustment she was looking for. 
I think she moved her feet right and got a little bit straighter towards the pocket. And that's a perfect pocket strike right there. Front three for Liz. She set the pace. Let's see if Lindsay can respond. And again, struggling with light hits and ten pins. Let's see what she can do here to get the ball to make the corner. And again, late to the pocket. And there's a two pin. You see it gets in the oil, just won't slow down and make that corner. I can't remember the last time Lindsay was high on any shot. Every shot has either been a late, a late turn for a ten pin or a two pin combination or something like that. And so let's see what adjustment she makes here. Again, taking that mix plastic hybrid ball at her spares. She's perfect on 10 pins. I have not seen her miss a makeable spare yet in this series. And no trouble there on the two pin. I am Bruce Hall, of course. I'm your international commentator for these matches. It's my pleasure to team with Bruno Bedone and Marc Chavez, who provide the French commentary for these matches. see what Lindsay does here on the left lane. Left lane historically has hooked a little more. Well, let's see what happens here. She move her feet to the right maybe. One or two. And another good shot. Perfect balance and flush strike. Good shot there by Lindsay. Can she put some pressure on Liz who comes out firing with the front three. Let's see what she does here. Cubica AMF Strike Tour Series is a special event organized by Bowling Promotion for the French Federation and the French Olympic Sport Channel for the promotion of bowling in general and the French teams specifically. And we'd like to thank Cubica AMF who has signed on for a three-year commitment to sponsor this Master Series. So thank you so much, Cubica AMF. And Liz high in the pocket that time. Boy, she's getting it done every which way. And that's high in the pocket. And there's a trip for... She's smiling about it, but she says, hey, a strike is a strike. No matter what it looks like, we've seen mixers, we've seen flush, and now a trip four for the front four for Liz Johnson. Can she keep it going here? And Liz goes right up the pocket and a perfect flush strike again on that left lane. Good for her, and Liz, of course, one of only two women to win on the men's tour. She won the PBA Cheetah Championship. And, uh, of course, the other being Kelly Kulik, who won the TOC in the men's tour. So some elite company there. And now Lindsay, frame five. Can she get a double here? It might be approaching must-strike territory already. And gets it out. There's in the pocket. And there's the weak 10. She did move. I think she tried to use a little bit of the dry. Got it up to the pocket. But the ball just won't make the turn aggressively through the pins. And there's the weak 10. You see the 6 lay in the channel. Not doing its job taking out the 10 pin. And once again, Lindsay perfect on these spares. We're going to see some... Interesting names in the step ladder. Once again, we'll be bringing you nine matches. The winner of this match bowls Manuel Otolora of Colombia. We also have Gwendol Jolif, Matt McNeil, who led his team Vega to victory in the Baker team competition in this bowling promotion tour series. Jack Blythe coming up, Daniel McEwen qualified second, and Dennis Grunheide of Germany was the high qualifier. He averaged 238 for his 18 games in qualifying. So Dennis really scoring well in this pattern. And there's a strike by Lindsay. Mixer strike similar to Liz's. Unfortunately, she has not doubled. And so now has 99 in the fifth. That comes in a little bit late. Now, if that comes a little higher, it's another week 10. But it lays off and gives her the mixer strike. So we have seen these games turn around. Let's see what happens here. Moving into the second half of this match. It's again Liz Johnson against Lindsay Boomershine. This is round three of nine rounds 
of the Masters series. And there's a bucket coming in a little bit late for Liz. Doesn't make the corner. Again, the right lane typically a little bit tighter. A little bit more oil. And let's see if she may get it. You can't really tell. I can't. Might have been a board right of target, but certainly not a bad shot. It leaves just the five pin. So should have no trouble converting here. Last time we saw Liz on this telecast, she was bowling Clara Guerrero, and they tied at 228 and had an exciting roll-off, which Clara won when Lindsay, excuse me, Liz made a bad shot on this left lane and went through the beak for a split. So this left lane has been tricky. And Gonzalez had the same problem last match. So this left lane is not, it's not drier until it is, until you, until you hit the mid lane and it works against you sometimes. And right at the pocket, there's a ringing 10 for Liz. She has not missed the pocket this shot, this, this, this round. And another good ball. See, that's right in that zone. A little bit higher and it's flush and a little bit lighter, it's a mixer. But that is that ringing 10 zone through the pocket. But Liz comfortably in control by 41 pins right now. Actually about, actually 40 with the count loss. So Liz in a very comfortable position. Important now for Lindsay to strike. She needs to come back and put some pressure on Liz. She has a 249 possible. And Liz right now pacing to the 230s. So she could strike out and put some pressure on her. But that's a yank up the boards. She knew that was a bad shot. It's really the first bad shot I think I've seen from her in three games. She just yanks it and just gets it a little bit left. And fortunately, there's not enough oil to hold that back. Through the beak for a six pin for Lindsay. And no trouble on the conversion there, but unfortunately another frame wasted and an opportunity for a double wasted. So now she can strike out for 229. And in that case, she would need some help from Liz Johnson. She would need an open somewhere along the line. So Lindsay just unable to put the strikes together here, even in these last two matches. She, she did very well at the end of match one against Clara. Let's see what she can do here. And, oh, another light hit, a very light hit. Just went right through the oil pattern for a washout. And Lindsay went for going from bad to worse in this game and struggling. She's like, what do I do? I moved right. I threw it up the boards. It's the drier lane, and it just goes right through it for a washout. So Lindsay confused right now on what's happening and how this pattern is breaking down. She'll use her mix ball right at the... and wraps around the washout. Thank you for nothing. This is a... this is a great shot, and... Boy, if that, if that brings back memories, it's how she lost to Clara in the first round of the women's stepladder. She left a washout, made the shot, the pin laid in the gutter, and did not give her the conversion. And that time, she wraps it around. So she's got two bad breaks on that washout. Meanwhile, Liz Johnson, with a very routine strike in the pocket, is well in control of this match. And in fact, with... Lindsay's high right now at 204. Liz will wrap this shot up basically with this shot and we'll put it out of reach. And it will be Johnson moving on to face Manuel Otolora the next match on this YouTube channel. And why not another strike here? Liz with 268 possible. And a great shot there. If you're interested in participating in this tour, you can go to Bowling Promotions website. There is a tour coming up at the end of September. 
And I believe there are spots open for that tour if you're interested. It's a wonderful trip around France. And here's a ball up. This is a substantial ball up. That's a supernova for Lindsay. Let's see what this does. That should pick up. And certainly does. And there's the roll through the pocket. And she goes, well, maybe I should have done that sooner. But nonetheless, watch this roll. She gets it out to the dry. She crosses 11 on its way out to the dry. Look at it pick up harder, much more aggressive surface. And comes up and goes flush strike in the pocket. And unfortunately made the move a little too late. Let's see what this gets her in frame 10. She got a 204 possible. And there's a 10 pin with that ball too. So there's no magic answers. I'm afraid, Lindsay, but great bowling and uh, congratulations on your title. She made it through two matches on this nine match step ladder. And it will be Liz Johnson moving on to face Manuel Tolora in our next match. Please stick around for Mark's interview with Lindsay Boomershine after the match. And as we said, Mark's French is impressive, but so is his English. He's a wonderful commentator. He's the voice of the Tour de France. So stick around for that interview, please. And we will see you back here for the next match, which will be Liz Johnson against Manuel Otolora, the number six seed, as we make our way through these nine matches. And Lindsay gets that ball out to the right. There's a dead flush shot through the pocket. And that's that pocket angle she was looking for. I think she's a little regretful she didn't make that move sooner. But I'm not sure it would have been enough because here's Liz staring down 268. I'm not sure she had that much better a look. But anyway, great showing by Lindsay Boomershine in this 2023 Cubica AMF and another flush strike. Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Tour Master Series. Thanks again to Cubica AMF for their three-year commitment for promotion. And again, stick around for the interview. And we will see you back on this channel for the Otolora versus Johnson match. And Liz polish off this 268 possible. And there's a fast eight. Let's see what happened there. A little bit slow. Rolled through the pocket. It'll put her in the 250s. That is the highest game we've seen on this stepladder. And once again, the GOAT, Liz Johnson, getting it done. Congratulations to Liz. 256 to Lindsay Boomershine's 184 and a convincing victory. And we will hear Mark Chavez talk to Lindsay Boomershine in a minute. So. We'll see both these ladies out on the PWBA Tour coming up. We'll see if we have some statistics here for the match. And there we go. Johnson, eight strikes to Boomershine's five. Three spares for Liz. No opens, 256. Five strikes, five spares. One open for Lindsay at 184. Lindsay could not put any of those strikes together. So thanks, folks. We will see you back here for the next match. It'll be Johnson versus Otolora. La fin de ce troisième tour avec évidemment Miss Boomershine qui nous a régalé tout au long de, de la journée. Deux victoires, une défaite d'affilée. Elle était face à, à Liz Johnson il y a quelques instants. Peut-être le mot de la fin pour prendre la température. Obviously, looking at the score, the adventure is over. You had two great wins against two Colombians falling against Liz Johnson. Nothing wrong when you lose against Liz. Just give us your assessment on that, on that final matchup. Uh, the oil just kept carrying down, so I knew it was going to be a little bit more difficult because it seemed like I had to keep moving right. Um, but I knew that she, this is what she does. She's amazing. Um, if I'm going to lose to anyone, I'm going to lose to one of my uh, good friends. So uh, it didn't go that my way, but I think that uh, it was a really great experience, and I enjoyed it. 
Lindsay nous dit, euh, effectivement, j'ai senti qu'il y avait un processus d'huilage. L'huile continuait de se projeter finalement sur la piste, ce qui m'a fait me déporter sur la droite. Et du coup, ça devient de plus en plus difficile pour moi euh, de, de lâcher ma boule et de trouver le bon axe pour, pour tacler et attaquer les quilles. Mais évidemment, quand on perd face à quelqu'un de la qualité et de la trempe de, de Liz Johnson, forcément, c'est l'une de mes meilleures amies. Je sais que c'est l'une des meilleures au monde. Quand on, fait, quand on perd face à Liz Johnson, forcément, on n'est pas déçu. Et je suis très contente euh, que ce soit face à elle euh, que l'aventure s'arrête ici à l'occasion de la Master Series de la Promotion Tour.